name is Frida Josi. I'm from the University of Applied Sciences and Arts Hanover in Germany. I submitted, uh, submitted our paper together with Mr. Wartener and Mr. Hyde. Here are the objectives, uh, objectives of our work. We want to improve the pre-processing pipeline for text extraction. We use the page layout feature information to improve the classification of text classes, such as header, text, or footer. Here on the right side is an example page in which some text classes are marked. We want to be able to identify the text elements in legal documents. We develop our process for documents with three possible layout pages. For the single column pages, for single column pages with headings in the small left column, and for two column pages. We developed this because text extraction from PDF documents is a common problem in text processing, and we need the extracted contract text in the correct reading direction for our work and further process. What I'm presenting here is um, first the introduction and motivation, the data and uh, document corpus, our method and other used methods, our results, the conclusion of our work, and our current task. Introduction and motivation. In our project, we want to analyze legal documents. However, since legal texts are often available as signed PDF files, we want to extract the text from them. These documents consist of several page layouts, and for the two column page, the correct text reading direction is important for the extraction. So we need to know which page in the document has two columns. With this, we build our pre-processing pipeline. In further steps, we want to identify frequently occurring text section in legal documents. Here is a visual overview of our process. First, we create our corpora. Then we extract text elements uh, or text boxes for each page with a software PDF miner. We can now determine the page layout and then also classify the text, uh, the class for all text boxes. At the end, we get the text from the document with information about the function, e.g. this element is a, a heading. And we can filter our text elements that occurs in the header or footer that is not part of the contract content. And we can extract the text from two column pages in the correct reading direction. The scope of the data used is shown here in the table. We have 46 documents for the layout prediction, the test set, and 249 in the training set. These documents consist of 417 individual pages in the test set and 1,859 pages in the training set. For, from, for prediction with which a class of text element has, we use 70 documents consisting of 276 pages. These pages contain 20,938 text boxes. The page, uh, uh, the page for layout prediction and the text box for text box class prediction were manually annotated by two people. The feature-based uh, method that we have developed and also used is shown schematically here. We generate 100 marker points for each page. Uh, for each marker point, we add the height of the text box uh, that this marker crossed. You can see it here. Uh, here marked. We normalize the values with the highest value per page. We do not consider the top and the bottom of each page because these text elements can cover a two column layout if there is lo a lot of information there. Here are examples of the page layouts we found in our uh, documents. Here are the marker representation for a single a uh, column page far left in, in, and the PDF page at the bottom. You can see well here that the values of the markers are constant in the middle and then flatten out to the right. In the middle, 
In, it's a marker representation for a single column page that has heading on the left side here and here again. This structure can be um, seen good in the marker values too. However, it is the two column page that shows uh, most clearly how our method works. The distance between the column uh, columns is clearly visible also here in the marker representation. We use this marker values as features to train our classifiers. For classification, we trained the random forest classifier and the support vector classifier. Here are the scope of our data set again. We have optimized the pyra parameters for 100 features. To have a comparison, we also tested the image classifier based on a deep convolutional neural network. The deep convolutional neural network image classifier is a, a published implementation with PyTorch. We have trained the model VGG16 with our uh, document pages as images. We covered 417 pages to PD PNG images with PDF to image and use the default settings of the implementation. The source um, of the implementation from Simon Jan and Sizaman is listed here as the yeah, source. Here you can see an example of each prototypical page layout we have. The prediction is um, 80% for the first example. This is a uh, um, single column page as 70% for the middle ones and 80% again for the two column page here on the right. The results for our feature-based method are given here. The, we achieve a um, weighted average of 94% with the random forest and 95% with the support vector classifier. The results for the classification of a two column page here are 88% with the support vector classifier and 84% with the random forest. Our features are the heights of the intersection texts, boxes per markers, um, there are 100 features, and the area of all text boxes per page. The results of the image classification with the CNN reached a weighted average of 73 and an accuracy of 87%. The results for the classification of the two column page um, to see here is 83%. One weakness is surely that only uh, 417 pages are used, but because training the model takes more time and the method is not too easy uh, so easy to integrate into a complete uh, or our complete pipeline. I did not look for improvement solution here. Now we come to the text elements on the document page. Here are a page example from a document. One text element is marked for each of the text classes, um, header, heading, enumeration point, text, or footer. Um, there is no handwritten note or stamp on this page, but it occurs, occurs frequently enough in our legal documents. So we have added this class for the classification. The future, uh, features we use for the text structure elements are the geometry of the text box, e.g. The, the coordinates of the box, the neighborhood um, of the text box, the present of adjacent text boxes, the text box area, the high and wide of the text box, um, the features for recognizing headings, such as is bold, capital letters, and if a column is the last character of a text box. Um, yes, and some more. The cl classifiers were trained with these text box features. We again use the random forest and the support vector classifier. This time, however, with a tenfold cross validation. We divided the document pages ac according to the page layout and trained a classifier for each layout type. For another experiment, we also added the probability for each layout class as a feature to the text element classes. 
but the results were better when we used three trained models and therefore we decide before ahead which page layout the page will have. That is why I did not include this additional experiment in the paper. Here are the results for classification of the text element elements. As a baseline, we trained the text elements without any additional information about the global page layout. We are much better uh, here with the random forest than with a support vector classifier. But for the text class heading with 84 and 54% uh, with the random forest, we wanted to improve the results especially headings in the second column on the page were not predicted correctly. Therefore, we tested whether it's not better to know beforehand how many columns the page has. If we use a classifier for each page layout, we can improve the prediction for the heading with the random forest classifier. We now achieve a F1 score of 90% here for, for heading. We have made all improvements mainly for the text class heading. Uh, the text class for normal contract text is always quite good. Here, um, 91 and 98% uh, because of the feature numbers of words. But if we want to analyze docu legal documents, we need the information where the headings are. The heading is followed by the text section and then comes the next heading and so on. We can filter our text elements from the header and the footer, and we get the contract content with which we can work further. In order to compare the results directly, uh, the accuracy values for the text elements split by page layout were added as a weighted average. By splitting by page layout, the classification with the support vector classifier becomes worse from 88 um, to 87%. Uh, the, but the classification with the random forest improves slightly from um, um, 95 to 96%. The classification with the random forest and the text element split by page layout is our best prediction for the text classes. Our conclusion. With the use of global page information, we can improve the mapping of text elements to a text class for two column page and a single column page with headings on the left side. By using the global layout information, text and legal documents can be extracted more correctly and are therefore available for further processing. Our approach is well suited for pre-processing large corpora from the legal domain. Even if they contain documents with two column and single column pages, and where it is not known which page in the document are two column. Especially legal contracts, documents often contain single column and two column pages, and the number of columns must be identified to ensure the correct extraction of the text and to maintain the uh, reading flow. The tasks for which we use this method are listed here. We want to detect schematically text fragments automatically in legal documents. We are working on finding longer text formulation by a common pattern detection algorithm and clustering of the patterns. To do this, we look for frequently occurring sentences that follow each other in the document. And in this sentence sequences, we want to identify changes. In this way, we identify common text section in legal documents and the individual characteristics and variations of each sec section. One result should be a collection of text formulation or contract clauses from the legal field. With this collection, new contracts should be able to be checked automatically. Here are a uh, uh, is a visual overview of our current task for which we already used the pre-processing methods I presented here. But we have not yet complete all this task. Um, there are always room for improvements, but we work on it. Here are some of our publications. They are also tasks where we have already used the pre-processing pipeline. 
and here our contract details. The corpora uh, we work with are published uh, on our project page. Later methods uh, will also be published there.